the view as well. I have to chat some of that. I want to uh, give it a bit of a clean. Try to fix this up, be broken. Give it a bit of a quick test. I'm not going to touch it because it's not earth. I'm just using a quick test lead here. Did a couple of quick tests that uh, pulled about 30 amps short circuit. So I'm going to have to fuse this really well. Had lots of fusing on it and protection. And both the primary and the secondary side on this. It's just a shame it's not going to fit in some of the hoarding box. Damn, it's big. Can't even lay it on its stomach, so to speak. It's not going to fit. Can't even talk about it in a plastic box. Have to clean out that enclosure, clean all that up. Just want to lead out to it with a um, big fuse or put a circuit breaker or just do that. I want to run it through a nice circuit breaker, I think. Just have this sitting up on the shelf. Have this AC go into my uh, into my um, welding power supply separately. The rectifier will handle it. It's a 50, 50 amp rectifier. So that'll got to handle it. But man, it's got some juice. I'll do a quick test on camera just to show you. But I won't do it for very long because it does, uh, yeah, it does pull up that uh, amps, that's for sure. I might do a throw a current to that amp meter carefully, just to see what it does. It's a fair bit of current there. I've also um, ordered some uh, components for this too. I, had, I was a bit short on some electrolytics and some uh, radio capacitor values for this one, so I've ordered some more. They were on their way. I've already got the spare dial cord and everything for this. Look at that power cord. Has not been plugged in since Christ was a foot soldier. <laughs> That's not going to pass a mega test or any insulation test at all. Anyway, let's uh, test this 32 volt transformer. I've also uh, plugged in the, um, an 80 which I had in my stash. So I'm going to have to uh, get this all organised and that'll be another later date. First I'll work on this, we'll show you this bad boy. This thing uh, pulls some, uh, pushes some current, that's for sure. It's shunted, see what it does. Whoa. Oh, yikes, 10 amps, hey hey! There you guys with cheap, that I got a lead. <laughs> well, I pushed 10 amps across that shunt. Yeah, I'll unplug that safety first. Not even warm, not even. So with that shunt, didn't do it for long. I wonder what that shunt's rated at. Oh, that's the smelly stuff. So I've got the 10 amps, that shunt's probably... I don't know what that shunt is, but I reckon it would have been at least 50 amps short. I've got to calculate it yet, but that was more than 10 amps to do that, that quick. <laughs> this thing works quite nicely. It's a Wilson instrument, this one. Wilson Sydney. But uh, I'm going to put that away and... Uh, that quick test was enough to blow these leads up, so and look at that, destroyed. I know I do it, um, the Glad, it's the Glad 4 when I visited him. He's got some of these made up, he kept the leads, the clips, but he's actually used some silicon uh, wire, which is a good idea. Bit expensive, but for something like this, it wouldn't have burnt like that, the silicon wire. This thing is, she smoked quite nicely, but... But anyway, I'm definitely going to put a fuse on the primary. I reckon a 10 amp fuse on that thing, on the primary side. And a good circuit breaker on the secondary. That was at least, yeah, 40, 50 amps on that. A short circuit. So, that's plenty for my bloody roaring um, buck converter. But I'm going to have to fuse it to at least 20 amps to protect my buck converter. Because if I, uh, if I go over the 20 amp spec of this thing, the shunt I kind of be happy on that circuit board. I could blow traces up. So I'll run this so I, um, I'll uh, set it all up and I'll get some uh, 20 amp fast blow fuses for that power supply. I've got more than what I need on this thing. This thing will satisfy all of my needs. Perfect. And as an added bonus, that thing via my roaring, that'll drive my ZVS nicely. So, That'd be a main ZVS power supply uh, project. Let's pop open my uh, window here. Get some uh, more airflow here. 
but that's plenty of usable current. I've got plenty more than what I need. So that'll be all fused down to at least 20 amps on the second view there to protect my, uh, as I said, protect my buck converter. After, um, hey, I've got to clean this box here. It's filthy. That's why I took the transformer out. I've got to clean all that. It's just filthy inside it. Oily, greasy. It's just hard to get off my hands. But yeah, she uh, got some plenty of power, that's for sure. Anyway, that's a good quick test. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'll be very nice to you as well. I'm going to add this bit into my video. My induction heater. Oh yes, the induction heater's come out to play. 8.4 amps. Put the field in there. 9.1 amp. Yeah, I've got it limited to 10 amps. And just dropping the transformer from 41 volts on the input down to 29 volts. Just pulling that transformer in a bit. Yeah, the spoon's getting hot. I can feel that getting hot. So 10.1 amp. Okay, it's going over 10 amp. As it gets hotter, I'm going to turn it coming up more. Nineteen point nine five goes up to twenty amps. Oh yes, eleven amps now. It's approaching. Watch this get red hot. I'm going to tell you what the screen says. It's dropping to twenty nine point four volts. Ten point six amp. Ten point eight amp. It peaked that. The spoon's starting to get hot. Yep. Oh yes, this thing's got plenty of power. Yeah, it's just getting hot out of resistance. It's going down, so it's using less power now as the spoon heats up. Two hundred and forty watts. This is a one point eight kilowatt heater. I'm only pulling two hundred and thirty-five watts. This transformer's got plenty of power now. Whoops. I short my thing out. That's hot. My coil was not. Just good. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yep, I just got it there. It's going to 240 watts. Just put on some power. See that little eye ring in there, that little uh, chain link? Watch what it does, it dances. I'm holding this as still as I can. Just heating my hand up. That is hot. Extremely hot. That got cooking. That's awesome. Oddling, it's just pulling that much power. Shut it off. We'll do our, car, our temperature check. Not even bloody warm. Not even warm. Nothing's warm. Ha, ah, staying cold. That worked out quite well. Beautiful. Got plenty of power. They're still dry, so it's still quite hot to the touch. Virtually red hot. See the discoloration, got plenty hot there. Now, if there's anything that's like a plastic handle off a tool or something like that, and if it's got metal in it, well, that's going to make the metal hot and melt it out of its uh, plastic casing, so to speak. Speaking of which, I might try this. I might try this. This luggage handle. It's a bit of flexy metal. Cased in plastic, I can induct heat that and that'll just melt its way out of there. Anyway, that uh, transformer's uh, paid for itself. That is awesome. Now I got to make the full use of this thing. Nice. 
Anyway, I'll uh, probe those prongs to see what the chat's almost kicking out just by sitting like this. Because there's an AC, it's dropping an AC transformer. I'll probe those prongs at a multimeter on the um, power point cord there. We'll see what we're going to get. I'll set the multimeter down, set it to I don't know, 200 volt range, I'd say. And see what it says on the multimeter, and I'll just probe those prongs carefully. Because I'm going to get something out of that. I'll set the camera down, and I'll uh, just put the screen in front of the camera. There we go, a bit of glare, but let's see what it says on the meter. Nothing. Oh yeah, this is a cheap meter. Whoops, so you got to set it to the voltage range AC. There we go. Nothing? Interesting. Yeah, well, let's shut this off. Unplug that, disconnect it. Yeah, this transform was all right. There's a higher voltage going into that winding the way it normally uh, kicks out. There's not that much of a difference. Anyway, it's uh, definitely got more kick than this transformer anyway. This is good for its size, but this is better for its much more current to get much use out of this thing. Ah, not even warm. That's awesome. Anyway, I'll unplug that safety first. There we go. Staying cold. Thanks for watching.